What's up guys? This morning, working on this Cat 336. It's got blown out hydraulic line. I believe it's that one right there. Let's get started. Down here in this mud. One thing I gotta say about these cat machines is these hydraulic lines are junk. I just replaced this one a couple weeks ago. I've done so many lines on this machine now. Oh, well, zoomed in way too much, but that one. I guess uh, we'll change it. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's one side. I didn't record it, but got this side off. We're out here in Frisco, Texas. Putting in a new high school out here. It's just freaking beautiful. didn't record it I forgot but the new lines in now I gotta test her see if there's any leaks but I gotta check the hydraulic tank first that's oh, cool huh interesting So, after I finished the hydraulic hose on the 336, Foreman came over and said, Hey, track loader's not starting. Uh, we had snow a couple weeks ago, and I think it killed the batteries because I came over here and jumped it last week, and the charging system was working good. Batteries only dropped down to like 20 volts, so I'm like, Oh, maybe they left the master on excuse me the master on I burped <laughs> and uh, he said hey it's not starting again so I came over here and like oh you probably didn't turn the master switch back on and uh, I came over and it was off 
but uh, batteries are completely dead. So the boss said, hey, run over, grab some uh, batteries since the dealership is right around the corner. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and replace the batteries. All right, let's see what we're working with here. Wendy is all get out. Oh, yeah. oh. Getting more action than I was earlier. Ah, oh, yeah. Welcome to Dallas, where people do not know how to drive. I've got about 21 more minutes to my job site, and this is what we deal with on on the daily. It's wild. Well, we made it. It is windier than a son of a bitch. Working on a 644P, one of our newer machines. Got hydraulic leak. Let's check it out. Gotta love the jams. All right, we're gonna enter in the code. I won't show you that. I'm gonna try to get this thing fired up and get this boom up in there. Hopefully there's enough hydraulic fluid in the tank and uh, we're gonna lock it out. Ooh, oh, it's going slowly. And that should be good. Get shut off. So I got the boom lock on. Got this cover off. And found our leak. So I'm gonna pull that line off. Check the O-ring, make sure everything's good. Probably something pretty simple. I'll let you know. Got the line off, check it out. There's my O-ring. Oh yeah, focus. Not my first time seeing that. Let's get a new O-ring on, get tightened up. Well, I got it put back together, got it all cleaned up. I didn't get to film any of it because I had a guy over here talking my ear off while I was repairing it. So we're gonna test her out. Oh yeah, much faster. say we're calling it good I'm not gonna let them run it though because the, uh, the hydraulic fluid it's pretty empty on it so I don't want them burning up anything on to the next well that's gonna be a wrap 
I just talked to the boss man and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. I'm probably about an hour and a half away from home. And he said, there ain't no use in coming back to the shop. So just go ahead and head towards the house. So by the time we get home, I'll have about eight and a half hours. That's okay. No overtime today. I'm not too worried about it. Um, anyways, see what happens tomorrow. Let's get all closed up and get on out of here. Check out my podcast on all streaming platforms. Besides the wind, it's a pretty beautiful day out here. Well, just as I thought. Hour and 17 minutes. Guess we should start hoofing it. Well, not too bad though. Blow this popsicle stand.